guys so we're back so i've finished my final template so basically this is my final template just made it out from uh, a thin cardboard so uh, i did it from this one like uh, shown earlier so with, with this one now the fit will be better it's going to look like that so basically so now i can create this is a template only so i can create the actual veneer it's either i make it direct on the decal but since i want it to be really replaceable between the three models that i want to do i'll i'll create it on this one this is like just for uh, uh this is just from a uh, uh, folder a clear folder a translucent folder uh, i actually made it for a pick card which i will also show you so basically i'll just make it like that here then cut it off then this is the actual one that i will uh, put the decal on and do the design so just maybe some of you will say why not just use a black uh folder uh plastic folder so that you don't need to put a black decal that one is also an option but for me because i want it to be like this the gloss color black so i chose it to be like that i'll use this uh plastic and put in a decal glossy decal so that for uh, for me it looks like more like a real headstock than just like a because most of the plastic uh, folders are the black is usually any color that in that case is a matte color so it's not gloss so i'll use the template cut it off and put the decal anyway i'll do that now guys okay uh so this guys this one is i will already use this part for another pit guard basically a clear pit guard that i will use for the uh, Harrison Clapton uh, Les Paul standard model that I want to copy then I will also need to create one with a black pit guard for the wino that I also plan to uh, mod the guitar to okay so I, I can use because I'll be able to cut basically two of the veneers here headstock veneers like that so that at least i maximize the usage of this um plastic uh material uh anyway it was quite good for the pit guard so i'm quite sure that the, for the veneer it will also be good so i'll the thing i'll cut it first here i'll do this part later i'll show that to you when once i'm doing the actual uh accessories needed for the mods but the headstock is the primary thing to to do first so i will cut the headstock first and uh, proceed to making the veneer Hey guys so i finished with the plastic veneer for the headstock so i already cut it out so now what i need to do is to put the decal on it so that once the decal is on then that's the time we can put all the gibson uh, decal that's that will be the actual design for the head, headstock so this one i think for the first design i'll do the lucy uh, the harrison Captain Lucy head stopper so that that will be the practice time for the guitar okay
is the best detail sticking that I've made so far. See, it doesn't have noticeable bubbles. I mean, it looks so straight, but it still has bubbles, but not noticeable. Although it's around this area, but yeah, like that. But that one won't be an issue because I'll be sticking the Gibson decal here so it will be covered. And this ones, even if they have this ones, well, when I put it on the actual headstock, the tuners will actually fix that issue. But the thing that I don't like with this one is the edges because it was a bit hard to cut the decal and fold it. And you see the, the edges are like that. I mean, it's okay. When I put it on the actual headstock of the guitar, it looks okay. But my OCD is kicking in and I'm still finding ways if I'm going to fix it or should I go just spray paint the thing? Anyway, what do you think guys? Should I use this one or just pre-paint it? Okay, anyway, that's all for now guys. Bye. Uh, hi guys, uh, just to update you, I didn't need to do the painting, the spray painting of the decal version of the first veneer that I made. So basically, I was able to take out majority of the bubble I think it's it came out okay although these rough edges those ones are basically not going to have any effect because once it's on the headstock uh, it's basically not so noticeable but that's okay so at least for this one I won't be needing to take out the decal and spray it anymore anyway the first mod uh, that I was supposed to do was the slash 4 mod because for that one I just need the veneer the basically the veneer the truss rod decal here with the name slash and also the Gibson logo and uh, basically I just need to put the cream color pit guard and the uh, the toggle switch uh, label so but unfortunately the decal that I ordered I ordered basically one slash uh, one Jerry uh, Jerry Cantrell and one which says custom the one that uh, says custom is basically for the Lucy Les Paul which is actually the second uh, easiest mod for, for this rally guitar so basically now since I don't have the slash, I'll just do the the Harrison Clapton Les Paul standard. So with that one, I will just need the pit guard cover, the cream pit guard cover, the cream uh, toggle switch label, and actually just just the Gibson decal here. The logo here, the Gibson logo is actually. For uh, this this combination is for uh, the Jerry Cantrell Wino, so we'll use this two for that one. But for this one, we'll just use the Gibson logo here, and also for the Jerry Cantrell um, mod, we'll need to replace the uh, 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 rings of the pickups. So we'll need to change the cream to the black. Uh, uh, pickup rings and also change the knobs so and also this one, that one the, the toggle switch label this one uh, like I showed you last time this is still bare it's still not modified so I'll be creating a separate video for that one but for now I'll just use this one to make the Harrison Clapton uh, mod uh, less the wording custom here but at least that one we can put uh, afterwards once the my decal order comes and then I will just put it here but anyway now we'll proceed with the thing so I'll just have to put the Gibson logo here okay oh by the way I forgot to tell you guys 
this one to be able to put this one by right you should take out the duct the, the it's like a nut on the selector switch and open up the back so that you can slide this in and basically uh, secure it with the front nut but since we don't want to open up the thing anymore i'll just make this this hole bigger put it uh, uh, put it in put the selector in and then i uh, use double sided adhesive so that it will just stick there so no need to open up anything because like what i said this one is like for a lazy guy mod but it will work and i know that it will look good okay okay i'll continue with the with the sticker now guys and be back in a bit Okay guys, so now we have the uh, wording um, placed on the headstock, uh, on the veneer I mean. So basically, if if I had the decal, uh, the custom wording decal here, I will just need to put it here. And basically, that's the completed veneer headstock for the um, Harrison Clapton Lucy Les Paul. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the guitar. So basically, this is the Harrison Clapton uh, Lucy Les Paul. As you can see, the body itself and even the the fret markers are already the same as the Rally guitar, my Rally guitar. So see, it even has the same um, uh, knobs, the the gold knobs, the color of the guitar, and. The only thing missing is basically the cream uh, pickguard and the uh, cream toggle switch and of course the headstock having the Gibson logo and the, uh, the truss rod cover with the word uh, custom on it. So basically if you see this one, with this alone. So with that, it's basically the same headstock already, just missing the custom wording. Okay. And of course, once you put the cream pit card and toggle switch, the Rally Les Paul will <laughs> basically be uh, a good uh, mod for this Harrison Clapton Lucy Les Paul. Anyway, I'll go, uh, I'll put it on the guitar now so that you'll be able to see what I mean. Okay guys, so this is my Rally uh, Les Paul. So as you can see, it's very close to the Harrison Clapton uh, Les Paul already, Lucy Les Paul. So you see the body, the uh, uh, pickup rings are already cream the buttons at the knobs are already gold color and we also have the uh, cream knob here so the only thing missing for this part is just uh, the toggle switch label here the cream one and the cream pit card and also uh, of course the headstock because right now it's still the rally headstock so once we put the veneer that we made so it's basically the uh, somewhat full copy of the Harrison Clapton Les Paul. Anyway, I'll put on the things and uh, see you guys later.
So now that I've already uh, put in the uh, cream pit card, uh, I can put this toko switch label now. I actually made the hole bigger, like what I said, and put double-sided adhesive already. So now, instead of needing to open this thing up, we just put it there and it will stay there. Okay. So now, basically, the body is uh, <laughs> much like the person clapped already. So now, the only thing we need to do is put the head stop which is like what I said the only thing missing is the decal here same custom and once we put it here now we can bring you guys here once we put it here it will look like that so basically the finished product will be this guy 